Welcome back. Well, if you are looking at a possible foreclosure or bankruptcy and wish you had someone to help you with legal advice but don't think you can afford it, this may be exactly what you're looking for. Joanna Medrano and Hope Sullivan are here to tell us who is available to receive some free legal services. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank, thank you, you for, for having, having us. us. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> Got it in stereo. Uh, so tell me a little bit of why this program even exists. So we are the University of Arizona's um, Mortgage and Consumer Finance Law Group. We are completely funded by the Attorney General's Office. So they received a large um, mortgage settlement fund and they had to put that back into the community. So they decided this was a good way to go through the James E. Rogers College of Law. And we do, we have postgraduate fellowships and our mission is to help homeowners keep their homes and maintain their financial stability to pay their mortgage. So I think the key word that we're hearing here is that this is a free service. It is a free Which is service. amazing. And now, Hope, you're one of the staff attorneys, is that correct? Yes, yes. And it's, is it right that it's all U of A law school graduates? It is, it is. We're staffed by, um, our director is Joanna, and she's an attorney from New York. Um, and she's re trying to get admitted in Arizona, but the other people in our office are all recent graduates. We took the bar exam this summer, and we're all recently admitted attorneys. And what kind of counties do you cover, people in which counties? We cover five counties. Okay. So we cover Graham, Pima, Pinal, Yuma, and Cochise. So okay. we're pretty far out there. Yeah. Yeah. And then what are some of the legal issues that somebody might call you for to get help with? So we, we deal exclusively with homeowners, but if someone calls and they have a different issue, we'll be happy to refer them to a place where they can get legal services. Um, again, anything around foreclosure prevention. So here in Arizona, that means being able to file bankruptcy to save your home. Also loan modifications, reviewing your loan modifications. Um, if you have a wage garnishment hearing and that's affecting your ability to pay your mortgage, we could assist you with that as well. And is there some kind of a criteria in, in deciding on which cases you take? Well, one thing that's unique about us from other legal services is that we don't have a strict income criteria, so we'll look at everything all together. Um, you know, often people will hand over their pay up to legal services and they just don't qualify, but they, they don't take into account the actual expenses. So we are for low and moderate home, um, income homeowners. And we do a basic pre-screen when they call, and if we feel that it's an appropriate case for us, we'll call them in for an intake. So I vet everything, and then they'll be assigned an attorney, and then the intake will happen, and it'll go from there. Okay. And Hope, what an amazing experience to have right out of school. You know, how long will you see yourself with a company like this, and, and what do you feel like you're getting from it? Well, I have to say that this program, it's established right now for a two-year period and the fellows that were just hired we have been hired for a one-year position and so next year they will hire um, U of A will hire new graduates to take over that spot but I have to say um, this is not an area of law that I really focus on in law school so to have found this fellowship has been a truly rewarding experience my focus was more um, criminal law in school and so to be able to do this work where you're helping people stay in their homes or you're helping potential home buyers find a home. It's been a really rewarding job to have. So well, that's amazing. And I know we have viewers at home right now that are probably just thinking, you know, maybe if I could just get a, a couple of tips on the things I should do. And I know you guys have a couple of practical tips we can give out today. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Um, so our first tip would be. Don't ignore any letters that you get from creditors. I think it's very tempting to want to ignore the problem when you see it coming at you. So we would, su we would suggest to you do not ignore any letters from creditors. So if you go talk to somebody from your bank or from a loan servicer, make sure you get their name and their contact information so that you have that point of contact. We'd also say make sure you get everything in writing. That's important because if you do seek help from an attorney, you'll be able to document your case and get that attorney up to speed very quickly. Um, also, this is a very confusing process, so uh, we would encourage you to make sure you ask questions. Um, if there's something that you're not understanding, ask that bank employee or ask that loan servicer employee questions about your case. And lastly, Talk to an attorney. If you find yourself in trouble, um, talk to an attorney as soon as possible, really, because the sooner you contact someone for help, the sooner that person will be able to help you, and um, they'll have a better shot and have more options open for helping you. So talk to someone as soon as you start to see a problem. Absolutely. This is all such great and very useful advice. And again, especially talk to a lawyer. And that's what you, exactly what you have over there yes. at your program. They are all graduates of the U of A. You know they have a great education. 
and and you've already everybody's passed the bar, so you are who to call. Yeah, yeah there's no reason not to call you. And well, I just want to say one thing um, that's great about our program is we can do everything from brief advice. Like if you got paperwork for a loan modification, we can look over the paperwork and give you brief advice. Um, and we can do everything from that brief advice to full legal representation. So if you end up in a bankruptcy hearing, we can work you all the way through that process. So we're a great resource. I'm, I'm glad you said that. So you don't have to be drowning at the point to come to you guys. Please don't. Call ahead of time and get that advice before you're, you're too far gone. So thank you for saying that. Yeah. Yes, and we're going to make sure our viewers know exactly how to get in touch with you. And thank you for coming on today. Thank, thank you for you. having us. If you or someone you know is interested in free legal services related to housing, you can call 626-4093 or log on to law.arizona.edu slash housing.